But if you're wanting a really cheap option, Summit has a 2801 cam. This thing is freaking phenomenal for what it is. It's like 80 bucks. I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys to check that out if you want to check that out. But let's pop that into this and see what it actually does. It's a it's an in-between cam. So it's a 214, 224. Again, between those two of the 66, 68, and the 41. But now that that is on here, let's go ahead and do this test. I mean, it's got some losses down low, and it's got a lot of gains up high. This is an excellent option. So this cam really doesn't lose much down low at all, if any. Um, it's a couple numbers down low, but really at 1500 RPM, you're never going to notice that. And all of the gains above 4000 RPM, you're definitely going to notice that. Uh, mind you, again, this is also a pretty small cam, and it's a really safe cam to put in your car if you are just trying to get something in there to sell. They're like 80 bucks. Um, you know, so they're kind of hard to argue with for the price if you need a cheap build to just get going. But let's be honest, we don't really care about the stock cam. We're not going to keep that thing in there. So what does this cam do against the 068 cam, which it's probably meant to be going against anyway? So you see here, it's basically just a cheap knockoff of the 068 cam. I mean, it really is. It's really close to the performance of it at about half the price. I mean, that's a big deal if you're trying to save some money.